Oh, yeah, he took morphine. I thought it was an older one. Aha. Uh -huh. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. Nice thumb it's ring. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. All right, somebody said my audio is screwed up. Uh, is anyone else's audio kind of messed up? I can't tell if it's me or Neck or the game. Um, please let me know. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime My candidate? My mic is well, screwed? I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Well, it just got, like, ten it's all good, and then, like, two people said my mic is screwed up, so I don't know. That's not good. Didn't think Simon was prime candidate. Believes morals are incompatible with Atlas. Morals are incompatible. That's a strong way to say that. Sounds good to me. Okay. Really don't get why that happens, but I guess the audio drivers don't sync properly. Uh, with the stream. I, I don't really understand why. Thank you. Probably be back later. God. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? Fucking Kyle. Test of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought, uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. You disappear now. 
It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do you want me to make you? It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rash commitments. Oh. Dropped his car keys and well, also... Uh, you really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. What's so everyone dropping stuff? Testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. There's certainly got to be a better way to do a pain threshold test than something that could potentially cripple your hand. Not that I'm exactly for it anyway, just saying. Alright, let's go behind their house. I'm gonna break into their car now. That was a really conclusive click that he gave that thing. Here we go. Oh. Bingo. Well, right. 500 pounds. Be very interesting to see how he explains okay. this one. What the hell is he doing with that? Oh, because it's like Scientology or something? Maybe because he's supposed to, um... You put your fingerprints all over the car, dude. <laughs> Could have, like, worn some gloves for that. Uh, maybe it's a Scientology thing? Like, they're supposed to pay money to get further up into it, and Kate was, like, a prime candidate, so she had to pay a lot for the tests. Something like that. Couple more questions, if that's okay. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. Peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship. With many major international companies, we provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of Oh, the check was made to her. It's a little kickback. Just business, Inspector. He's so proud of himself. It's like, we did a good job making a weird cult. You should be proud of us, too. Now, why do you think Ryan... I hope you made a copy of that. ...for 500 pounds? I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You... better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. He was blonde? That's not a blonde. <laughs> how do I... How do I call him on... Oh, I don't know that it even matters, really. Use the pick? Uh... No? No, that doesn't work like that. I can't use inventory items here. I can only investigate in this dialogue box. There has to be another statement he made about her not being blonde for that to work. <laughs> use last saw her? I don't think this is going to happen. 
Now, see, the game has actually given me direct ones that absolutely should have worked that didn't, and this isn't quite close. Possibly spoke to her. Maybe he thinks she's someone else. That's why it's in quotes, like, what? Uh, I, that's annoying. I don't know why they would include something that seems like an obvious inconsistency that they should have caught to not have an answer to it. Maybe he thinks she's dumb? Oh. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, blonde is code, uh, code, cult code for brunette. I swear to god, this chief, he's like gone half the time. And Lisa's still... yeah, no more Lisa. I don't think we ever talked to Lisa again. Uh... You think... James probably won't know shit, but... Whatever, I can't keep another bit of dialogue from James away from you questions, lovely people. Yeah, James wouldn't know about that. James wouldn't know about that. Oh! We don't even get to see an animation of him saying no. Nope. later on, if that's okay. <laughs> He's probably blackout drunk. <laughs> Chief is the opium dealer. Oh yeah, I, I didn't notice, but it was just my police chief that was delivering the opium. Of course. Hey, what do you know? There's nobody here. I guess all this was ever good for was to get the morphine out of the drawer then. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what a prime candidate is? An atlas. Um, is the best student. And um, what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea, anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up Her to eyes it. are moister than ever. What happens then? They get sacked. Failed prime candidates get sacked. That seems useful. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Huh. We're trying to mind. sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. Got nothing for you, actually, Simon. I just woke you up for no reason. Oh, Emma wouldn't know about the money. All right, woke you both up for Thank no you. reason then. Probably be back later. Then that means. We're headed for one final showdown at Atlas, aren't we? So maybe Kyle's like ripping somebody's organs out in the reading room. Go around to Kyle's house? I don't know where Kyle lives. Uh... 
I wouldn't mind going back into the mirror room a few more times. I'm sure there's good shit in there. Or not. Don't go in the mirror room at midnight. Yeah, glass at midnight is where that's where you see ghosts. Alright, we've got a ways to go with him. The Atlas mirror room. Here we go. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really is. Understanding the idea prick. Is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. Room locked so students aren't distracted. Not so you can store drugs or personal things in there. Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods. <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector. Poppycock. But I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Sixteen, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Thank you very much for the twenty-one months. Yeah, you've reached drinking age. Congrats and thank you. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> Prime candidates are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems very yeah, simple. We turn to out do. sociopaths. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. no Simon Thompson, uh, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector... He's losing his cool. Uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide. Huh? Yeah, didgeridoo, I was saying that before. He would make a really good doctor, I think. He's got all the right facial expressions and, like, the right enthusiasm all the time. His voice, like, is just sticks in your head. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. Yeah, it fell so out. Why were you going to give <laughs> Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. 500 pounds? She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! Uh, that face! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? No ulterior reason for giving Kate the money. But we had reason to believe that he was maybe interested in Kate, wasn't he? Why did we think that? Simon had been trying to undermine Kate.
So what happened to the whole storeroom cover? Is that just gone now? Is this the locked room? Tevo underscore, thank you for the 35 months in a row. I appreciate it. WTF, Twitch just notified me that you're alive. Yeah, it's been really bad with the notification. It says students aren't coerced. Okay. Yeah, short magic. I'm probably gonna play it. I, I've been told nonstop about it since I've been playing this. I mean, that is a contradiction right there in a way. Um, if you are interested in getting notifications another way and you use Chrome, there's a Chrome extension called Twitch Live you can use. And uh, basically just have that send, or I don't know if it'll do pop-ups. Actually might. Open stream, pop-out window. Yeah, show notification, the new streams go live. So actually Twitch Live itself can give you the uh, info and you don't even have to make an account or anything. You just put in... Uh, your Twitch name, and it'll check based on the uh, the way your account is set up, who you have followed, and then it'll just give you a list when you click on the extension um, or notify you directly. It's uh, it's pretty good. I actually have been using it for a while, and it just keeps a little number of how many people are on. You don't have to go to Twitch to check. So I found that makes me a bit more consistent in not missing things I want to watch on Twitch. That just popped up for you, too. Okay, so the notifications don't pop until they pop on Twitch, which kind of defeats the point, other than... I guess you have a list that you can look at anyway. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> Rumble Muffin just sent me the infectious, uh, the infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Thank you very much. So we now have another FMV game to add to the, the uh, future playthroughs. Big thank you to Rumble Muffin as always. I gotta figure out what this contradiction is. Wolfguy84, thank you to you. Glad to sub to you again. This game is so intriguing. I know, it's really good. Game audio fixed itself after another refresh, even though it stayed borked after refreshes before. Why is Twitch so weird all the time? It's not just Twitch, it's also possibly audio drivers and stuff on your end. It's, it's a whole pile of stuff, but granted, Twitch is usually to blame.
So like at this point, the screwdriver should just be taken off the list. Drop silver key. We don't need that anymore. We've literally got every item we've got since the very beginning of the game in this list now. Just take them out once they're used up. That's all. But I saw you in Twitch Live when your stream started a few hours ago. It has to think you restarted the stream or something. Um, maybe my bitrate dipped a bit and then it didn't know what that meant, so it thought I reset the stream. I don't know. Students aren't tested. Yeah, they clearly are. What's the test, though? The aptitude test? That's... That's not the same kind of thing, though. No, that's not it. The aptitude test is for, um... It's kind of like, It misses the point of the question, is what I mean. It's to get into the thing in the first place. It's supposed to be like a psychological evaluation, not a... Not a test like the dude putting a skewer through his hand, which is what we're actually talking about. The mask had it? Hey, we never linked the made by a friend who died last year to be Liam. Really thought we'd do that at some point. Did we do storeroom not secure than morphine? Uh, yeah. The shock aspect, maybe? No. I wonder if it's useful that he knows opium can be extracted. What about the morphine test? Well, you have to have an actual specific line that he repeated for that to work. Like, the person who you're trying to find the contradiction for has to say the thing. Whether you know the story in your mind or not, they have to be the one that says it that you're finding the contradiction in. And he, if he didn't specifically mention that morphine issue himself, then uh, we can't use it as anything. Keeps the morphine in locked room upstairs. Room locked so students are... I tried this already, didn't I? It seems like a way to link logic between a locked thing and another locked thing and that those things don't fit, but... They, uh, they only get about 25% of the ones that seem to actually be real contradictions. Ryan says students aren't bribed or coerced in any way. 